Hey everyone, it's Sarah. Today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about a few apps that I'm using that are helping us save some money and that are that I can use to kind of make money. Um, I'll explain as we go. The first app that I wanted to talk to you about is um, the Cartwheel app. If I can see that, get that pulled up. This app is for Target, but it's not the Target app. Target has its own app, and this is another app that you can get. Basically what it is, is it's just a few extra coupons that you can use on top of other Target coupons or other kinds of coupons. Um, let me bring it up here. Basically, this is what it looks like when you open it, and it, you have your own barcode. You can scan different items in the store, and it'll tell you if there's any extra coupons for it um, on this cartwheel app. And so you just add it onto your basket or whatever on here. And then when you go to check out, you have them scan this and then it takes those amounts off automatically. Like they might have 15% off women's clothing or 5% off up and up brand soap or something. Uh, but it works on a lot of different stuff. It changes every week the different kinds of coupons that are on there. I've saved, like you saw on there, I've saved $45.51 just by using that app. It's so cool. It works on clearance and I mean I only shop from clearance anyways so I go on there and I scan my clearance item and then it might be like an extra 15% off of the already reduced price that is like 70% off. So I get stuff for super cheap using this app. It's awesome. So I definitely highly recommend it. It's free. Um, I assume it's on Androids and iPhones. Um, but anyways, that's my absolute favorite one. And then the second app that I'm using is, it's called Checkout 51. And I'm gonna bring that up for y'all. And basically what you do is you do your normal grocery shopping like you do every week or every couple days or whatever you do. And you has different options of getting money back per item that you buy. But you, it's kind of funky in that you can only get money back on the certain items that it has for that week. And it's not a lot. It's like 25 cents for buying bananas. But once you hit $20 worth of items that are on there, they send you a $20 check in the mail. It's really cool. I'm only up to like $4, I think. But here, let me show you. So you can kind of see that it has like bananas and bread and just different items that you can star. And then um, you upload your receipt. And all you do is just take different, you just take pictures of your receipt to prove that yes, I did buy bananas and then they'll credit your account 25 cents for buying bananas this week. It's a slow moving app. I understand that. I've been using this for a month and a half, maybe two months and I only have four dollars. But I mean, if I'm buying groceries anyways, I might as well scan the receipt and be getting some money back and eventually just get a $20 check in the mail just because I bought groceries anyways. You know what I'm saying? So it's really cool. It's free. Uh, highly recommend that one. The third app that I recommend, or I guess it's not really an app, it's a program that, but it has an app on your phone. It's called Influencer, and basically you sign up, it's free, and the whole point is how big of an influence you are on other people, like how many Facebook friends do you have, how many people are following you on Twitter and Instagram and all that, and so you review all these products, you answer people's questions, and then you rack up these badges and influencer sees like, oh, she has a pretty big influence. So they'll send you boxes of free stuff like soap and shampoo and dog treats and all this kind of stuff because they want you to try it and then go online like to Facebook or Twitter or whatever and then talk about it. And it's based on how big of an influence you might have on those people. Like if you have a lot of followers, they might be like, oh, well, this girl likes these dog treats. <laughs> so it's just really cool. And so um, I have that also. That's what it looks like. That's how you say it. Or that's what, whatever. That's how you spell it. And then the last app that I wanted to talk about is my absolute favorite. It's the Every Dollar app. 
This is the Dave Ramsey app that he just came out with. I've talked about in our in a video or two ago. It is awesome. If you're going to get any app at all, get this one. It it's like having your budget on your phone. You just walk around with your budget instead of having it on paper. Um, if you go to the grocery store, you can immediately put it in there. You go deposit a check, immediately put it in there. It's so neat. I love it. It has helped my husband and I a lot. You can We can see how much we have left remaining in our um, cash envelope. It tells us how much I have left to use for groceries, how much we have left for gas, whatever. It has our remaining amounts and how much we've spent and how much we've budgeted. It's just really cool. We like using it a lot. It's free. You can pay, or you can pay $100 per year or $10 per month to have your bank account linked to it. And um, basically what it does, it just pulls up onto the app and then you drag and drop that amount to whatever item you want. So like say you went to the grocery store and spent $50, it would pop up on the app and then you have to drag it to groceries on your budget. So you still feel it. Um, a lot of people compare this app to the Mint app. Mint is also free, but um, my husband and I don't really care for it. Um, it's kind of weird how it's set up. And um, I'm, I think, I kind of feel like, or I'm getting the feeling that people are one or the other. They like Mint and they don't like every dollar. Or they like every dollar and they don't like Mint. Mint is just not our cup of tea, but um, it might be yours. But I will also link how to get every dollar set up below. You have to do it on the computer and then you can get the app on your cell phone. They only have it for iPhones right now. They're working on getting it for Androids, but um, it's free and it's just great. Even if you have an Android, you can totally do this just online, get it on the computer and do it on the computer. And then when the app comes out for the Android, then you have it already set, so it's awesome. But anyways, those are just a few apps that um, I'm kind of using right now, kind of checking it out. I'll definitely let y'all know in a few months if I'm still using them, if they're still what they're cracked out to be. Um, but if you have any questions, please let me know. And uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I will talk to y'all later. Bye.